Hello and welcome to Future Perfect Tech Shorts. I'm Tony Velasquez. With the merging of smartphones and tablets into phablets, the mobile market has become more competitive and the tech that goes into them is continuously being upgraded. Now, Intel, a company that makes chips for computers, is bringing its tech to smartphones and tablets, working closely with partners to develop smartphones based on their technology. And we'll be speaking now to Uday Marty. He's the managing director of Intel Southeast Asia about what we can expect from new devices and future trends, of course, with Intel behind them. Uday, thank you very much for coming over. This Thanks. is the first time I'm ever going to be able to say it, but now I have Intel inside my studio. You get it? Oh, okay. Good day. Thank you very much. Anyway, Thanks for having us. <coughs> well, most people, uh, of course, would think that um, when, you, when you think Intel processors, you're talking about desktop PCs, uh, you may be talking about uh, laptops, sure. but most of the time it doesn't come uh, as a common uh, maybe idea to people that it's in your smartphone or it's in your tablet, but Correct. that's already there. Right, yeah, absolutely. Uh, we have been able to bring varying levels of innovation, leading innovation to consumers worldwide for many years now. And uh, based on a new lineup of products over the past few years, uh, yeah, we're now not only in PCs, we're not only in servers, but we are also in smartphones and we're also in tablets. Mm. Absolutely. And the most, of course, familiar processor Intel has for mobile devices is called the Atom. It's still called the Atom. Right. Mm -hmm. Yeah. But what you're telling me now is that there's going to be a, a new, uh, I guess, a refresh for sure. the Atom itself. Yeah, so, you know, Atom is a brand, mm. and within that brand, we've been refreshing it on a very regular basis, right? We launched the brand back in 2007, 2008. For netbooks? For netbooks, yeah, yeah for netbooks, and that was a great wave of innovation, right? right. Uh, we started this whole drive towards companion devices mm -hmm. with some of our partners, and that had a lot of people carrying multiple devices. Right. The companion devices morphed now. Now people have tablets, people have low-cost PCs, mm -hmm. Uh, but bottom line, people have more than one device, and Intel is increasingly in more and more and more devices, not just PCs. Hmm. Now I got to ask you because uh, one of your main competitors, of course, is uh, ARM. <coughs> ARM. Mm -hmm. They've produced a lot of uh, the, uh, the architecture that goes into a lot of the chips sure. uh, that the competitors also make. How is Intel now meeting that competition uh, today? Yeah. So. You know, as I said, we've been investing in the Atom architecture, Atom branded products for a long time. Mm. Uh, and uh, we've been learning along the way. We've had an effort to drive products into mobile processors, mobile devices for a long time. Uh, we actually have some best in class folks uh, designing some of these products for phones and tablets. Mm -hmm. And we've brought all of the knowledge that we've accumulated over the past few years. And we're now able to deliver three things with the Atom processor. Which is? Number one, great performance. Mm -hmm. So whether it's video performance, whether it's graphics performance, whether it's CPU performance, you want to multitask, so you're watching video and you're listening to music or you're typing away an email, we bring that great performance to you. Mm -hmm. Second, we bring absolute no compromise battery life. So I have, I have a phone with Atom inside. I charged it this morning. Last I checked, about 10 minutes back, I still had 80% of my charge on my smartphone. Mm -hmm. So all day battery life. And the third thing is we offer a great range of products across a lot of system price points. So whatever the consumer wants, we're able to deliver. Mm -hmm. Now, we're, we're, I've been reading up about um, the architecture that uh, Intel recently introduced, and that's Silvermont. Yep. And you're going to use that as a basis now to come up with a new, uh, uh, I guess, refresh for the Atom processor. Sure. Tell us more about sure. the different Atom processors that will be based on Silvermont. So, so let, me, let me take a step back, right? Okay. Um, so first of all, let me just say, Silvermont is the latest edition. We've had multiple refreshes. So right. uh, this is an Asus phone pad. Okay. Right? Uh, this was launched recently. It's launched in multiple countries. Mm -hmm. This is a single-core Atom-based processor. Just right? single-core? Single-core, okay. but 
you got to remember, not all cores are created equal. <laughs> Some cores are just better. Okay. Our cores are great. All right. Uh, this is a single core so part. So it's not in the number of cores, huh? It is not in the number of cores. There's a lot of optimization that happens in the CPU design, in the okay. CPU architecture. All right. There's a lot of optimization that happens in the software. Mm. And we're able to partner with companies like Asus and deliver compelling value to consumers. Uh -huh. That's just one example. This is a single core processor. Okay. And this is running at 1.2 gigahertz. We have an entire slew of uh, tablets here. Yeah. Whole range. This is one of our, one of, this is a phone from Lenovo, one of the very, very new products. This is a dual core Atom processor based on a product called Clover Trail Plus. Okay. Right? Uh, and this is going to be available here very soon. In fact, I saw some news articles about it yesterday. Great phone. You can look at how thin this thing is. Uh -huh. And it's going to have great battery life, nine hours, 10 hours of battery life. So a fantastic device. Mm -hmm. In the future, with Silvermont, we're also going to have Atom quad core processors. Okay. So now, depending on whatever you want, whether it's a tablet, whether it's a phablet, whether it's a phone, whether it's basically a detachable screen. There's some products here where the screen detaches from the keyboard. Sure. So you can have a full PC running Windows or Android. Right. All of that stuff is coming mm -hmm. uh, with Atom inside. So you just mentioned, uh, I guess, uh, a couple of things that people are, are, are really concerned about when it comes to their mobile devices. First of all, uh, I guess it's the battery life uh, that they're concerned about. Sure. Um, and, and they're also concerned about just how fast it it also runs apps. Sure. Uh, now, people are saying, you know, I want the latest phone. I want the uh, quad core. I want octa core if you can give it to me. Now you're saying single core, dual core, they can still perform as, as fast as, as these quad and octa core uh, tablets. Yeah, so I have in my pocket, so this is not a stunt, right? This is my, this is my regular phone. Mm. This is a Motorola phone. It's available in many countries in, in Western Europe and, and in, in the Americas, right? This is a single core phone. This is a single core Atom. Atom-based processor, running, it's running at 2 gigahertz. Now, independent websites have shown that this single-core uh, uh, Atom processor is outperforming some of the competitors' dual-core and quad-core processors. Really? This is not us saying it. This is third-party websites testing, 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 testing and them. talking about right. it. Absolutely. So it's not in the number of cores. Mm. Absolutely not. So it's really in the underlying architecture that allows the processor to actually perform at its optimum best. Correct. Yeah. It's the underlying architecture, it's the amount of software optimization that's done, and it's yeah. the, the amount of platform optimization that's done. Mm. And we work very closely with you know, a wide range of folks across yeah. Android and Windows ecosystem mm -hmm. to provide kind of the best, most compelling value to consumers. Yeah? So, so give us, a, give us a, you know, a run through of what you actually have here uh, yeah, in the well, studio. I got, I got a great number of devices here, obviously. So mm -hmm. let, let's start all with of this. Them, um, all of them newly cleaned, no smudges at all. Uday is going to smudge them up. Well, I'm going to smudge them up a little <laughs> bit. Yeah. So this is from Kobe, right? Well-known, well-known brand locally right. in in the Philippines. Okay. And this is a yet to be released 10-inch uh, tablet. All right. It's running. It's running Android. Uh -huh. Right. So it's great. It okay. looks great. Uh, and it's, I believe, it's available for 10,995 pesos. Okay. So great value for consumers. What's inside it? Uh, this is a single-core Atom processor. And again, don't go by the single core. Mm -hmm. You have to really feel it and touch it and play video on it and, and do web browsing on it to really feel the power of this thing. Actually, um, I, that's what I wanted you to do. You know, yeah. just playing, by, playing video usually gives a uh, consumer sure. a sense of how powerful the tablet is. Sure. So otherwise, if it stutters, if it, if it buffers. Yeah. yeah, well, this doesn't have an internet connection. Okay, so, so you it's don't have any, it's you don't be have a little any, hard to, you don't have any to do video playback. You don't correct, have any preloaded correct. video on it? Not yet. No, okay, no, no. Not this yet. is right. brand new because it's yet to be released. Fresh out of the box. So okay. Completely out of the box. So let's look, here's, look. A, here's another example, right? Right. This, this is Windows. Lenovo. Okay. This is Lenovo and it's a Windows 8 tablet. Right. Right. So this is a tablet. Well, now it's a PC. Okay. Right. So I can toggle between the touch mode in Windows mm -hmm. or I can go to our traditional desktop mode mm -hmm. where I can show it to you here. So you just press that and it's my traditional desktop environment that I'm very familiar with. Right. I can use Office. Old school uh, Windows. Old school Windows yep. or new school Windows. Fantastic. Yeah, I, we got right. it all, right? Good lifetime. And if, okay. if there's a device that does both of those things, mm -hmm. as you call it, old school Windows and new school Windows, then it's got to have Intel inside because right. nobody else can do that. Really? Yeah. Okay. Okay. Really? Yeah, really. Yeah, <laughs> okay. absolutely. Absolutely. I'm, I'm, I'm just, I'm just kind of. You stand, got it live. I'm gonna stand absolutely. to actually hear that. Yeah. All right. So here's here's, a, here's an Acer yep. tablet, right? Oh, this is an Acer, Acer tablet. Same right. thing. This has got Windows on it, right? Mm -hmm. uh, beautiful device. Very thin. Mm -hmm. uh, this is the Iconia W510. It's okay. got Atom inside. Still so the Iconia beautiful, brand. Beautiful, beautiful, uh, beautiful design. Right. Here's an example of a Samsung. Right. Now this is a new class of products. We call them detachables. Okay. Okay. It looks like a laptop. Right. Right. Looks like a laptop, and it's got a great keyboard on it. Sure. But if I press the button here, 
Off comes the tablet. Off comes the tablet. Yeah. This actually has a core i5 processor in it. So this is super high power, high power, high so performance. So this is an right? i5, not an Atom. It's an i5. It also comes in an Atom processor. It also comes in right? Atom. So right. great consumer choice across Windows and Android. Fantastic. Uh, and obviously we've got a, we've got a bunch right. more over there. Yeah. Right, right. Well, so it does seem like um, you're making great inroads uh, into the mobile market, but is it like you're playing catch up with ARM in a sense? Yeah, so you know, Intel's been invested in uh, research and development of products for the mobile space. Right. Uh, yeah, we've taken a, a while for us to learn the intricacies of design. Mm. But again, like I said, we've got a great set of folks working in headquarters uh, on great design, and you're seeing some of the some of the fruits of their labor. We've got fantastic folks. Uh, we've got great reviews from our partners, and we're coming out with great products. Mm -hmm. Now, when it comes to uh, say. Um, power management and even with video management does it does it do all of it uh, even though you're saying that it's just a single core or a dual core device yeah. yeah so obviously single core dual core you know quad core varying levels of performance no question even okay. within within the intel architecture typically as you go higher performance yeah. higher speed you'll obviously be able to do more things mm. but this lenovo phone that i just showed you yeah this is capable of full 1080p you know full hd video mm. basically right so this is great and it offers fantastic battery life right so and just no dual, no just dual core right this is dual core right this is dual and, core. and based on the silvermont uh, architecture yeah. uh, what processor is running inside it now yeah so the uh, it's a uh, silvermont is the architecture right. the processor right now is code named bay trail bay trail yeah and the right. products are coming out later this year and, and for the tablets it's called what is it Mer mary Maryfield is, Maryfield is a future is a future processor. It's still right? coming out. It's still it's it's much later, mm -hmm. right? Uh, it's later this year, or maybe we haven't really announced when. Okay. But Bay Trail is uh, is the product that's based on Silver Silvermont. And, and it's already on the phones. It's uh, we're working on many many designs with many consumer with, with many customers. Obviously, we're not announcing any right now. <laughs> uh, but okay. you can be rest assured that we're going to have a wide range of devices with with our Silvermont architecture. All right, fantastic. But. Of course, uh, we, we've already gotten used to seeing PCs with the mark Intel inside. Sure. I, I don't see it anywhere on these devices, Do, are there? Oh, well, no, there's one. Yeah, I see yeah, one. It's, it's, hey. I see one. <laughs> if it computes, we want it to have Intel inside. This is my <laughs> this is my personal phone. It's got Intel inside mm, back there. So you had that personally made. Yeah. So well, it's not personally made. No, <laughs> no. they don't pay me that much. But <laughs> but. Uh, yeah, you know, if it's uh, we believe it's a trusted brand worldwide. So sure. if you look to see that it's got Intel inside, it's it's got great quality, great performance, right. great battery life, and uh, you know, across a range of system price points. And it's a good thing because uh, as much as uh, we want to see a variety of uh, mobile brands um, being offered to the market, that uh, it actually helps expand the choices uh, for consumers. I yeah. think just like consumers worldwide, you know, there's no. There's no unique, all your consumers are unique, sure. right? You have your own way of using a PC, you have your own way of using a phone, as do I, as do everybody else. Uh, and I think it's the industry's responsibility to provide devices that have value to all of those consumers. I think Intel for many, many years, uh, in the past and in the future, yeah. has done that and will continue to do that. Sure, a familiar household name and uh, now it's going to be more mobile than ever before. Uday, thank you very much for coming over to Future Perfect and explaining to us uh, just how Silvermont is going to refresh all of these mobile devices. Thank you Thank for you. having me. Thank you. And thank you for joining us. I'm Tony Velasquez. You can join me again next week when we again examine the present and look ahead to the future perfect of Philippine tech. <laughs>